We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows, they heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness, quick, deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me, and now it is silent. But it is born of hatred, <laughs> and it will kill again, <laughs> and it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It... it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer more questions. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most Skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most Skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon. But it will remain mine. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. Why do you live here, amongst the filth and vermin? Live. Here we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact? 
In your honest opinion. The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. Ascalon has stalked us for ages upon ages.
It's locked, all right. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed, one and all, and he's determined to save us. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. So you have the run of the place, and no one's taken notice? As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. What will be the result if you continue to assist both Skulls and the living? For the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. You've turned Scal now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Who is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult pledge to make. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I have come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord.
My discoveries. Vampire blood would enhance your metabolism, perhaps even heal you. If what old Bridget says is true, I'll give you some of mine. I, I'd rather not. It would be extremely awkward. You have no choice, Sean. It's the only way to protect your chapel. Those still amongst the living. No, Dr. Reed. God made me this way. Who am I to disobey his will? You believe that God's plan was for you to be abandoned at birth? <sighs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. I can't imagine God intended for you to be molested by a priest in an orphanage. Drink, friend. No. I said kneel and drink. Now! <laughs> 